So explain exactly how this works. So as you can see, this mask has a little cutout for the nose and then the mouth. It fits right over the mouth and nose like that. And as you pull, we call it a C and E technique. The E goes, the fingers go under the jaw and pulls the jaw up into the mask. And this makes a nice airtight seal. So when you squeeze this, it forces air straight into the lungs. So you breathe, you know, every time you breathe, the patient breathes every five to six seconds. Breathe just until you see chest rise and fall. And then you know the air is going in the lungs. There's other techniques we can use. Sometimes we need to pull up a little bit to get the tongue out of the way so that we can get that air smoothly down past the back of the throat into the lungs. And just talk a little bit again about how important it is. You know, it's not about, um, it's not always about uh, administering multiple doses of Narcan. It's about getting them to breathe again, correct? Right. Okay. Right. So Narcan works by displacing the opiate off of the cells. So the opiate's still in the blood. The, the receptors that bind the opiates bind tighter to Narcan than they do to the, the opiates. So the Narcan goes in and kicks those off, kicks the opiates off the receptors, and then binds tightly. That takes time. So in, in the you know, three to five minutes from the time the, the Narcan is administered, the patient's still not breathing. So the important thing is to give, these, give the air, you know, this isn't gonna be hooked up to oxygen for the law enforcement, but even just air, 21% oxygen, give it, get that into the patient, brain cells start to die after about four minutes. So if we can get that oxygen into the patient, we can get air moving until that Narcan works or until EMS arrives, we can save lives. We can save brain cells.